hello guys in this video we are going to see how to give access to non root users for docker application so usually docker requires root access to create namespaces and c groups so uh, to give access to non root users we need to give access to docker.socket so let's see where the docker.socket is located it should be usually located at slash run right you can see this is a socket which is in a purple color now if you see this yeah this s represents it is a socket and the root and the docker has read access so the namespaces and c groups will be accessed by docker using this docker dot sock so generally uh, in simple if we give access for a user to docker group uh, i mean if we add a user to docker group then the user is going to have the uh, can run the docker commands and use the docker application by normal user that is we don't need to use sudo command so let's give let's see who are uh, present in this docker groups so this is the docker and we only we don't have any users so let's add my user id to this group Uh, g password is the command used to add a user into a group a represents add and i am adding my user id to docker group so now if we run the same command see you can see docker group has an user named as i like venkat so let's test whether i am able to run docker commands using this docker run you no need to worry about this command right away we can go deeper later but all you have to know is uh, this is a command to create an image i am creating image name open to uh, i stands for interactive t stands for tty and i am going to open bin bash so uh, we have a os above the top of the os we are creating the ubuntu container and in the ubuntu container we are going to launch bin bash shell so it didn't work uh, i know why this didn't work because we just added the user to the group but we need to log out and log in again to make it work let's do that let's launch the instance again now the same command to work so the open to image started let's run the command docker run it interactive i am going to run the open to image and open to image and i am going to launch the bin bash on top of the open to let's see you uh yeah now we are able to run the command so when you are adding some user to the docker group just be careful and enable the auditing required for because they can make and break things using this so this is the best way to add or add more user or add a not pin user to this uh, to maintain the docker thank you guys thanks for watching the video